Howdy and Happy New Year's all. It's everybody's favorite Lovecraft, P.H. Lovecraft. And I told you once, I told you twice, all seasons of the year are nice for... And rice. Today we are dealing with the newest book from good friend of the program, Miss Tanza, Creatures of Will and Temper. This is a rather fascinating gender-bent take on a picture of Dorian Gray which happens to feature demons, a subject which for some reason always puts a smile on my face. More than that though, this book deals with passion and desire and temptation and how people resist or indulge them. It is, I shouldn't have to say, a real page-turner. But, even when we've steered you wrong, Miss Molly Tanza never has, so I hope you will indulge in this book. We are, of course, in that period of time when people are making all sorts of resolutions and promises about what they're going to do for the new year. Are they going to eat better? Are they going to drink better? Are they going to pick up and start reading all new books to make themselves a better person? Well, I guarantee you. This book should go on the top of your list. Go and spend your good intentions and your gift cards and get on it, especially before you manage to lose that initial drive and you go back to what you usually do, watching Gilmore Girls on Netflix. Although I must say that Emily Gilmore is quite the spitfire. Absolutely, I would. As always, I done been P.H. Lovecraft. Y'all stay bad now.